everyone, Eugene Fedorovsky coming at you live from Brooklyn, New York. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are having an amazing beginning of the week. I hope you're having an amazing beginning of the month. Happy August 1st. I hope you sat down and wrote out those goals, short term for the week, long term, longer term for the month, even longer term for the next five months, whatever floats you both. So today, I want to talk to you guys about one very important topic if you are prospecting in the cold market. And that is, how do you say less to more people? Now, why is that important? Uh, one of the things that I learned from Ray Higdon is, if you want to be successful in cold market prospecting is, you say less to more people. Unlike what is the natural human tendency is to find the person that's interested in what we have to say and blah all over them. So a lot of times we actually talk our, ourselves out of a sale as opposed to talking ourselves into a sale. So let's first talk about what a cold market prospect is. Now a cold market prospect is a person who you don't know or doesn't know you. And of course, there's gonna be always a lot more people who don't know you that do know you, even if you're the mayor of your town even if you're the president of, of your country, or any title you can possibly hold, you will always know less, peop less people than don't know. Or I should say, you, sh you would know, you don't know more people than you do know. That's a better way of saying it. So let's talk about cold market prospecting. So if the formula for success is say less to more people, so how do we actually get to say less to more people. Because normally when we're speaking to someone cold market and we find that they're interested, they usually start asking us questions, well, what is it and things like that. So here's what I do. And I, again, I learned this from Ray Higdon. So he does something called BIC, which stands for break in communication. So let's say you're talking to Joe and you're, you're liking how the conversation is going and you don't know who Joe is, but you've established some kind of rapport with him and you want to invite him to a company presentation. It could be a company video, a sizzle call, a three-way call with the upline, whatever kind of tool you use in your network marketing company. Now, so you want to, you're feeling that it's the point you got the need and you can fulfill that need, so this is what you do. So you're talking to Joe and then you want to get, get him ready for the message. So what you say is, Hey Joe, I'm sorry, I just realized I have a dentist that I have to run to or a conference call. This is the break in communication. So you establish an event that you have to attend or hey, I'm sorry, I have, this, I have to jump on this conference call or hey, I'm sorry, I have to make a phone call or hey, I'm sorry, I gotta run, but. So don't make things up, don't stretch the truth have a conference call to get to or have a team call or have somewhere to go. So you say, hey Joe, I'm sorry, I have to jump on this conference call, but I gotta ask you real quick, do you at all keep your options open in terms of making any money outside of what you're currently doing? Or there's a variety of other phrases, use the one that you like the most. Now, it doesn't have to be that one, there's another one that Ray uses, he asks, are you at all open to a side project if it doesn't interfere with what you're currently doing? Again, I'll repeat that one. Do, are you at all open to a side project if it doesn't interfere with what you're currently doing? Now, why is that phrase powerful? First, he asks, are you at all open? What are they going to say to that? No, I'm not open? Who doesn't want to be open? Now, what you never ask is, are you interested? Never, never, never ask, are you interested? Because the standard answer to the question, are you interested, is no, I'm not interested. Like imagine if you go into a store and you're actually looking for something and someone comes up to you and says, are you interested in some help? What are you going to say? No. You usually say no, even if you do need their help. So that's key. So are you open? The next thing is to a side project. Side project can be anything. It could be anything that makes the money. It could be mowing a lawn or... I don't know, ha ha helping someone shop for groceries, whatever. They don't know what the side project is. And then 
you tell them if it doesn't interfere with what you're currently doing. What that means is that it's not going to take too much time away from whatever they're doing, from their job and whatnot, and it leaves open the idea that it could take as much time or as little time as they have. So typically someone say yeah, will say yes. So you ask them, are you at all open to a side project if a current doesn't fear what you're doing? They'll say yes. Sometimes they'll say it depends. Most of them will say, yes, what is it? So this is where you go back and you readdress the break in communication that you established, the big. And you say, hey, I would love to share with you. And I promise if you give me your information, I'll get back to you. But I really do have to jump on this conference call. Now, if you give me your information, I promise I'll get back to you. Now, it could go a few ways. One of the ways is the person will give you the information, they'll respect your time, and then you can follow up with them. Now, notice what I said, promise. When we're saying the word promise, that means that this is of benefit to the prospect. That's very key, because we have something that is a benefit to them. It's not the other way around. There's a lot more prospects than there are people like us who have the opportunity. But a lot of times we position it the other way, like they are more important, like they, you have to have them in your business. No, absolutely not. It's the other way around. There's more people with problems and, than us with solutions. So keep that in mind when next time you're saying, so when you're saying, I promise I'll get back to you, that means that, again, it's a benefit to them. So you establish that. Now, another way they're gonna react is they're gonna say, well, can't you just tell me now? And this is where you address the big a third time. I'm sorry, um, I told you I have to jump on this conference call. Hey, listen, it's okay if you don't wanna give me information, it's perfectly cool, I wish you all the best, I gotta run. And then you go. Now the key thing here is be ready to leave. Don't be like, I'm sorry, I have to run, and then be like, waiting for them to stop you. No, don't do that. Be ready to actually run to whatever it is that you have going on. Disattach yourself from the result. And this is where most of them will stop you and say, oh, hey, here's my information. So that is key. So let me go over this one more time. So first you do the big break in communication. Hey man, just throwing it out there. I do have to run and jump on this conference call, but you seem to be very sharp and, hey, are you at all open to a side project if it doesn't interfere with what you're currently doing? They'll tell you, well, can't you tell me more about it now? Hey, I'm sorry, I do have to jump on this conference call, but if you give me information, I promise I will get back to you. And then if they push you again, if they try to make you dance, tell me, hey, I'm sorry, I guess this is not a fit for you, that's okay, that's not a problem. I wish you the very best. I do have to run. And then you go. I hope you found this useful. This can really help in your cold market prospecting and it can help a lot of people out there because saying less to more people, it's a very powerful thing that unfortunately not a lot of network marketers follow. So please do like, comment, and share. Share it with your friends, like and comment. If you have a uh, Anything that you want me to talk about, feel free to send me a message uh, or comment below. I'll gladly answer, answer it. And if you have any ideas for a future video of mine, definitely reach out to me. With that said, I strongly urge you guys to keep working on your goals. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day and a fantastic rest of the week.